everything okay? one bag of screws. Yes sir, it could be two. Depends on the cost of service. Well, you did say that, but let me, okay, let me ask you this. How is sending me a bag of screws in three weeks supposed to help me put together my TV stand today? I'm terribly sorry for Could you, like, sir. overnight it or something? Uh, no sir, I'm sorry, that's not our company policy. Okay, so that's not your company policy. <laughs> now, if you'll just give me your name, address, we'll have this... Bakerman, you come to this door this instant. I got a bone to pick with you. You ran over my posies again. We don't have that kind of thing around here. I don't have an institution. You look trashy. You are trashy. We didn't have this sort of thing when Mr. Whitmire lived here. That was a man who knew the value of hard work and horticulture. I saw you running around like a fool. You are not asleep, you little liar. I'll be back with a figure of how much you owe me if I don't get it, it's 50 lashes with a wet noodle.
Zag Macy. Keep off the grass, Beats. Keep off the grass. Wow, she's really serious about her lot, isn't she? I mean, I just went over the edge of it. Thanks for staying with me. Can I trouble you for a towel? Thanks. I'm Izzy, by the way. I live next door. You're Danton, right? You moved in a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. I mean, I really like what you've done with the place. It's a lot nicer than Mr. Whitmire lived here. He was kind of a little grouch. Oh, yeah, um, I lost my other flip-flop when the hose Nazi was getting after me. I wonder why there's so many old grouchy people on the street. Do they think that the neighborhood's going under and they're bitter about it? Or maybe they're just disillusioned by their past experiences. I don't know, maybe they're, oh, maybe they're afraid they're going to get beat down and robbed. I live with my mom. She's almost 70. I think everybody thinks she's my grandma. She's pretty lonely and bitter too because all of her friends have died. Every time I try to move out, she guilts me into staying again. Speaking up, I really need to go home and make sure she's taking her medicine. So it was nice talking to you.